this is our fab capability. So welding th the parts together and assembling the parts together after um, they've been machined. Uh, these, are, these are critical items. This is the boom for the 62 reflector. Um, so this is part, part of that Mark 99 system as well. Um, these are handling fixtures here. They go with uh, electronic warfare, um, which hold different pieces of equipment and things as, as they get shipped. But this is guy, gives you guys some of the um, idea and visual of some of the critical welding and fab work that we can accomplish here with the guys that we have here in house. This is all part of fuel test stand as well. Um, we fab and weld all this stuff. We can do aluminum as well as steel parts. It doesn't matter. Um, we have multiple stations back here in the back where we do our fab work. Um, so once things get done with fab, um, aluminum products or whatever, um, they take the conversion code or mil C5541 so they don't oxidize. Um, so this gives you an example of the, all the parts that we're running through here right now. Um, so this is just bare aluminum stock. This is what it is after we iridite it or conversion coat it. It gives it the gold color to prevent the oxidation before we send it over here to paint or coating, final coating. Um, but everything goes to the traveler here uh, so that we know and can distinguish each part along with the drawing uh, so that everything can be kept in order. Well, now I learned something today on how the gold color gets on all the, <laughs> yeah, the aluminum too. parts on my <laughs> ships. There you go. <laughs> But we've got overhead crane capability so that anything that's uh, a weight issue there, uh, we can take care of with the overhead crane. This is the MK82 pedestal. Um, this is how it comes to us. Uh, we have a contract to do 12 of these. Um, but the MK82 pedestal is what turns the 62 reflector or puts it in position. Um, but so this is the director itself um, that mounts these two ship, uh, pivot arms, mount inside the pe uh, pedestal itself here, and that allows it to turn or rotate on the ship there so that we can direct the missiles to get shot off the ship. Um, so what we'll do is this how it comes to us. We'll blast all this down, completely down to the bare metal here. So it'll be bare metal once we get it, and then we will repaint it. Um, and we are an SSPC QP3 certified facility. Um, and it won't mean a lot to, to normal people. It's just a big, it's a big thing with the Navy here. Um, it's important to me. Yeah. <laughs> That's what matters. <laughs> but really it's, it's documentation on how we do sure. our performances. It's all, it's all about quality control. Yep. Um, so we have to document the temperature, what we painted at, the relative humidity, the batch number. We have to document all that in case there's a problem that happens in the fleet. Now we can go back and double check our paperwork and say, hey, this is what it was. We did it by, you know, by the standards that were required to do it to. Well, then it helps us if there is a problem to determine the extent yep. of the problem. Because I may have assets sitting in supply system that I may have to yeah, be able to go pull yeah. later and Got it. And address. <clears throat> this is a huge, this contract that we are currently bidding on because there's a whole Mark 99 system that we're currently bidding, that is a huge deal to us. Huge. Um, because this is stuff that is on a refurbishment cycle that they, the Navy is required that they have to do. Every on X our, amount of years, yep. they come in and they get refurbished. Yeah. Because Got the salt water deteriorates this paint is, is what it is. Mm -hmm. um, so this is, this is a huge deal to us. Um, and having this past performance, you know, really gives us um, a leg up on our competition and also the location of our facility relative to the base to where we don't have trans as much transportation costs as other people. Sure.